What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to talk transformations of radical functions. All right, we got to describe the transformations from f of x equals the square root of x. That is our parent radical function. So we got g of x equals 4 times x plus 6 inside the square root minus 1 outside. All right, so let's see here. The 4 first. That is a vertical, vertical stretch by a factor of 4. Beautiful. Outside is vertical, inside is horizontal. That means that negative 1 is also going to be vertical. We'll deal with that in a sec. Let's go left to right. So now I got x plus 6 on the inside. Now inside, we got a thing opposite. So when it's plus 6, it's actually going to the left 6. So left 6 for that one. And then outside, vertical is as it is. We're going down, yelling timber, 1. First one done, dogs. First one done. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. All right. Let's continue. So now I got a negative out in front. What in the heck does a negative do? That is a vertical reflection, right? It's outside, so it's vertical. It's a negative that is a reflection. So I'm going to jump, jump down here real quick. Vertical reflection. Um, you could also say a reflection over which axis? The x-axis. When it's a vertical reflection, it's going over that x-axis. I'm moving my hand up and down, which goes over the horizontal axis. So you can either say vertical reflection or vertical vertical reflection over the x-axis or just reflection over the x-axis. I'm going to stick with vertical reflection. I've set that enough. All right, on the inside, again, we got x plus 2, so it is going to the left 2 for this one. Lovely. All right, last one over here. I might do a bonus one, though. I'm feeling a little spicy, okay? So on the inside here, we got one third times x. So it's horizontal, it's either a compression or a stretch. Remember how we said on the inside, it's kind of the opposite of what you'd think? Same goes with multiplication. So if I'm multiplying by one third, we actually gotta think about our factors being reciprocal of that, which would be three. So this is going to be a horizontal, horizontal stretch by a factor of three. All right, so it's a horizontal stretch by a factor of three. There's ways to graphically show that. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. There are some other ones that I have that do show that. It's kind of neat, right? Neat as far as I'm concerned, right? As a math teacher, you might too. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so we got a horizontal stretch by three, and then we're going up one. Excellent, fantastic, and wonderful. So let's say here, remember I said I wanna do a little bonus action here. I wanna do some bonus. Let's go with um, L of X, right? I had to sing the uh, alphabet uh, in my head for a sec right there. So let's say we have the square root of Let's go with two parentheses x plus four, and then we'll go with uh, plus six. Okay, so let's talk about these transformations here. First off, first off, all right, I got that two inside the square root. Remember how the one third, flip it, same thing goes with this two now. So it's gonna be a one half, my factor's gonna be a one half, which makes it a horizontal, horizontal compression by one half. Excellent. Now we got our x plus 4. It's very important that it's in factored form. If it's not, you got to do some stuff. This one is, so we're good. This is going to be left 4. I should have done x minus 4, so we got to go right 4. We went left on all these. Maybe we're just feeling, you know, a little to the left, to the left. Is that Beyonce? I think it's Beyonce. All right. And then we got up 6. There we go. Three transformations. Bonus problem. Four of them all together. That's dope and radical. I will see you dogs on the flippity flop.